Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we'll be doing GTHX3 on challenge mode with three to two star units. So the units I'll be using today are 12F, Cruise, Noir Crone, Steward, Onsel, Orchid, Beagle, Catapult, Lava, Fang, Cardigan, and Hibiscus. Let's get started with the run. At the beginning, you wanna put your Fang at the bottom right hand corner so you can start gaining DP as soon as possible. Now it's time for us to just block these units and manipulate their movements a little bit. So you want to place a roadblock here. And then another one here. And as soon as you do that, you want to place your cruise over here at the bottom right hand corner. And now you're waiting to place your Noir Crone. So drop Noir Crone right away. And now we'll be waiting to place our cardigan. So drop cardigan right here. Now we'll be dropping our AoE unit. I want to drop 12F as he's the cheapest one. Drop him over here. Heal up a bit with Cardigan. Now you want to drop your healer as soon as you can. Drop Hibiscus over here. And now I want to drop Lava. Gonna put lava down just down here and now we have to drop our second healer Ansel. so i need to put Ansel down here to heal the lava because he's he'll be targeted by the dps rangers when they come down and now you just want to activate all the skills as fast as you can you just you want to just kill everything as soon as possible and now you want to drop your catapult down here next thing you want to do is you want to take out your Noir Crone. You want to place your Beagle here. And now you want to take off your Crew and place your Steward over here as well. So this part of the run is pretty straightforward. Again, use all your cooldowns to kill the units as fast as possible. And after this, the run is pretty much exactly like the say the run you did last time. The only difference about this run is the very beginning. It's very important to have a really low cost DP unit like Fang, and then a really low cost defender like Noir Crone, and another low cost sniper like your Cruise. You also don't need Fang anymore as soon as you hit the cap. Now just activate all your skills. When Big Adam gets here, you just want to just slow it down a bit. Just make sure your units can survive as long as possible. And now you want to place the roadblocks over here to make them go back and forth. You want to just slow down these units a bit. And now the run's practically over. Now you just want to place Orchid here. Get rid of all your healers. Place DPS units there. And you want to just cancel this roadblock and just make them run around again. So cancel Ansel there. And now we'll just speed it up since this run's practically over. So you just want to use your melee units just to stall them as long as possible. And when he gets close to that side, just take it off, put another roadblock until he's dead. Pop all your skills. Take this last one off. And then with this, the run should be over. That's the end of the run, guys. Hopefully you learned something from this run. If I could do it with three and two star units, you definitely could beat this with any higher star units. Like I said before, the very beginning is the most important part of beating this run. 
you really need a low DP cost Vanguard Sniper and Defender at the very beginning so you get off to the very possible best start. And afterwards you can just use any combination of units that I've used in this video and you should be able to kill it faster than me as well. And if you guys want to come hang out on Twitch, my Twitch is twitch.tv slash dance dark where I do a lot of three star runs and a lot of just general grinding. Thank you for watching again and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.